Hey guys, Ed Solis here at the uh, Heroes Martial Arts in San Jose, California, along with Dino Del Mastro, our assistant wrestling instructor here. Um, we're going to start off today's lesson. We're going to talk about penetrating our opponent, uh, attacking somebody from our feet. And we're going to cover the four basic steps. Basically, when people learn to shoot on someone or they learn to attack somebody with a shot, um, the first thing they have to learn is they have to learn to get close. So our first step is we're going to be close enough to our opponent. Now, when we're on our feet and talking about being close to somebody, when we, when we reach for our opponent and our arm is straight, obviously we can touch them, that's not close enough. With an arm extended, you're a little too far for, for, uh, for an attack. Okay? If I'm this distance, when I, when I change my levels, my opponent's going to react, he's going to back out of range. Okay? So a good rule of thumb is either our foreheads are touching or we're clasping our wrists with our elbows tucked in. Okay? This is a good enough range, this is close enough. So step number one is you always have to be close enough to your opponent to attack them. Okay? Step number two in any attack, we have to change our levels. We have to get lower than our opponent. So whenever we change our levels, it should come from our hips and our legs. It should never come from our back. So think about your posture in somebody's guard. Same thing on your feet. You never want to change levels by bending your back over. Okay? This is actually breaking my posture, and it's going to lead my penetration straight down. You always want to keep your back and your head up. So when I change my levels, it comes in my hips, never in my back. So step one, we're close enough. Step two, I'm going to change my level. Now, for guys who are a little bit bigger like me, you really can't get that low. So I would say a good rule of thumb is, as long as your head drops lower than his head, okay, you're good enough for attack. Obviously, for the lighter guys, the faster guys, you can get as low as you like. Okay. Step number three is we have to penetrate our opponent. Probably just about as important a step as any step. Okay. When we penetrate our opponent, we always want our penetration to be down and then through him. Okay. So what I mean by that is I'm going to be close enough. I'm going to change my level. The leg that's forward is the leg that's going to attack. That's going to be your penetrating leg. You always want to step at least equal to your partner's feet or your opponent's feet. Okay. But the trick is you want to change your level first. Then you step and attack. My back leg becomes like a spring. It's going to shoot me through my opponent. And I'm going to drive through. Head up, back straight. Both knees are on the mat. My back is straight, my head is up. Just like you're power lifting because this guy's going to start to sprawl. If my, perfect. If I am bent over and he sprawls, I go to the mat. And that's why a lot of people don't like shooting. They end up with their face in the mat. You can easily alleviate this by keeping your back straight and your head up. So again, step one, I'm close. Step two, I change my level. Step three, I step with my lead leg, and I drive to both knees, hit the mat, attacking my opponent's legs, back straight, head is up, okay? Step four is very crucial. You always want to step up with your trail leg to here. Now you're ready to finish. You can finish in a number of different ways, but those four basic steps are going to get you a lot more takedowns. Okay, so step three. Kind of um, to, get, to illustrate the penetration and the step that you really need, we're going to show you from this angle. Now, as I change my levels and I go to attack, okay, that lead leg wants to step as deep as you can through the guy's legs. If you can step past him, that's even better. But realistically, by the time you get to about here, they're going to start reacting. Okay? Again, my head is up, my back is straight. As I drive through my opponent, I want to control his legs. Okay? What some people do is they make the mistake of grabbing around the guy's backside. Okay? Really what you want to do is you want to control his legs down low. I like to bind my legs. You notice that my ear is right against his hip, my back is straight, almost like I'm power lifting, okay? And I'm going to drive. Now, you know you've got good penetration when your partner has to take a couple of steps back, okay? So as I drive to both knees hit the mat, you notice that Dino has to back up a couple of steps. Now my penetration is done, now my trail leg comes up. Again, my back is up, my back is straight, my head is looking up or to the side and I'm ready to take my opponent down. Always remember that in jiu-jitsu, when you attack somebody's legs, you're at risk for getting guillotine, okay? So if my head is down, it's easy for that guy to drop down and tap me out. So you got to keep your head up. Even if, doc if Dino reaches for my head, hold on, I'll start again. I always carry doctor. Even if Dino reaches for my head when it's up, it's hard for him to get his arm around the top of my neck, okay? So keeping my head up is my safety when I shoot. My back is straight, I'm ready to finish and take him down. Okay, there are literally hundreds of ways to take somebody down. When we apply a wrestling type takedown or a judo type takedown in Jiu Jitsu, we always have to consider the position that we're going to finish. Okay? One of my philosophies is I always like to finish in side control, north south, or on somebody's back. 
okay? And the way we do that is we want to avoid ending up in somebody's guard. I can easily get two points, but if I end up in their guard, I've got to open the guard, I've got to pass the guard. So I actually like to end up in side control. So this takedown I'm going to show you today is one of my favorite takedowns. It's, uh, it's really fast, it's a powerful takedown, and if you do it, if you execute it properly, it's a very high percentage finish, okay? And it's called a double with a back hip. Okay, we're gonna finish our double leg by bringing our trail leg up, wrapping it around our opponent's leg, and finishing it. But there's a couple of points that I really wanna to talk to you about so that you don't end up in somebody's guard or you don't get swept. Okay, rule number one, we're always close. Rule two, we always have to get lower than our opponent. We switch our hips, we drop our level in our hips and our back, okay? Rule three is we're gonna start stepping, we're gonna drive all the way through. My back is up, or my head is up, my back is always straight. I drive with both knees, hit the mat. Now as I go to finish, as I go to bring up the trail leg, that trail leg is not gonna stop here. Okay? It's gonna make one big circular motion. It's gonna catch my opponent behind his ankle. Okay? Nice and tight, back straight, head up. As I start to drive forward, Dino's leg is trapped here. He's gonna have to sit on his butt. Okay? I'm gonna drive, he's gonna land on his butt. Two things that we gotta be careful for. One is we can get swept or rolled or thrown by a good grappler, wrestler, or judoka. So you always wanna make sure that as I start to drive and finish, I'm gonna put my hand slightly out to the side as a safety mechanism so I don't get rolled, okay? So I'm gonna drive as Dino starts to go down and put my hands out to the side here, okay? Immediately, this leg is gonna kick and I'm gonna to come to his weak side, okay? I don't wanna step over into his leg to get caught in his guard, okay? I'm gonna be here and I'm instantly gonna kick my leg and come to the side. Okay. So as I'm coming, I'm doing a couple of things. Always keep my head up so I don't get guillotined. My hands are going to come out slightly to the side so that I don't get rolled. And immediately I'm going to kick that leg and sidestep. Okay. So here we go. Change. Drive. Trail leg up. Trip. Catch. Step. Side control. Okay. One more time. Combat speed. Double to a back hand. All right, guys, so to recap today's lesson, whenever we attack our opponents, step number one is we always want to be close enough to attack them. Step number two is we change our levels. Remember that changing levels comes in your hips and your legs, never in your back and your head. Step three is you want to penetrate, so you want to step with that lead leg, you want to drive deep till both knees hit the mat. Step four is you always want to step up with a trail leg to finish the takedown. Again, there's a lot of ways to take people down. We showed one takedown today, but we'll show you a series um, of takedowns in the near future. Don't forget to check us out at heroesmartialarts.com. You can also visit Dino's website at vqspineandsport.com. As Ed mentioned, my name is Dino Del Mastro. I'm a doctor of chiropractic, but I specialize in sports therapy. So my passion being judo, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. Anytime you guys have any questions about sports injuries or anything that I can help you out with, hit me up on Facebook, like me, send me a message through my website. Again, vqspineandsport.com. I'd love to be able to help you guys out. Right on. Good luck in your training. We'll see you soon.